one of the things that you need to be able to identify when studying the cell cycle um, or the stages of the cell cycle is um, you need to be able to identify them from diagrams like this top row is diagrams and this bottom row is actual images from microscopes uh, showing the different stages um, this very first one is a cell that is at interphase you can see the nucleus and inside this stuff that you see in there is called chromatin. It's the material that eventually makes chromosomes, but they haven't yet been formed. So what you see is just a jumble of chromatin. The picture below the image, it looks exactly the same. You can see the chromatin floating around, but as you can tell, all you can see within the cell is just the dark nucleus. Nothing else can be seen, okay? The last four are actually the stages of mitosis. So really, in a microscope or under a microscope, you won't be able to see um, pretty much anything going on in interphase. You can't tell whether it's G1, you can't tell if it's the S phase, you can't tell if it's the G2 phase. All you can tell it's in interphase and the cell is preparing to divide its nucleus. When it enters mitosis, it's a little more obvious what's happening. For example, in this first one, you finally see the chromosomes that are formed. They look like this X-shaped, and here you see them. They're not as perfect. They look more like squiggly worms, but you can definitely tell the difference between this image and this one, okay? This first stage is called prophase. You also see that the nuclear envelope is disappearing. This is a picture of it, and if you look at the actual image from a microscope, you can kind of see there was something there, but kind of seems to be fading away, and all of a sudden you can see uh, the chromosomes. If you had a nuclear envelope, then it wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to see that, okay? That's how you know it's disappearing. The next stage of mitosis is metaphase. You're gonna see the chromosomes lined up along the middle. In a picture, they're perfectly drawn, and this is the spindle that you're seeing spindle fibers that holds the chromosomes lined up. Well, if you look at a real-time image, they do look like the chromosomes are lined up along the middle, but they're, um, they're not perfect. It's not perfect like this one. You just see them kind of floating around, but you can definitely tell they're moving towards the center. Also, the spindle looks more of like a blurry image like here. It's not a perfect you know, the spider web looking thing over here, but you can see there's something fuzzy here and they look like they're lining up along the middle. The next phase of mitosis is anaphase. And in anaphase, the chromosomes have actually split and we now call them chromatids, a sister chromatid. That's a chromosome that has split. These are chromatids and down here, in a real-time image, you see them. It's, again, not as perfect as these drawings, but you can start to see they're migrating, like they're moving towards the two poles. You still see the blurry uh, spindle fibers that are around right here. And then the last stage is telophase. And in telophase, you see the two nuclei have formed, so these guys are the nuclei. And in a real-time image, you see the two nuclei are here. You can't really see inside them because the nuclear envelope is back again, but you can definitely see there's two of them, and you can see there's some type of separation that's happening here. It's important that you can recognize both um, drawings of the different stages and that you can recognize real-time images of cells that are actually undergoing the mitotic stages.